Helene here in Arizona. Always great to be joined by the one and only and the fan favorite, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Great to see you, and I'm loving the new uh, putting green. Yeah, the new uh, the new turf. It's it, it's just a lot low, lot less maintenance. Yeah, well, it adds to the tropical paradise in your backyard. I wish the fans could see how cool it is back here. Yeah, I'm sure they've. Uh, you know, I post a lot of content from back here, so they can kind of piece it together. I got six chickens recently, so I'm, you know, I'm a farmer now too. So uh, yeah, I'm expanding the business. Congratulations, a man who does it all. And this past weekend, I'm sure you know that you guys went viral, you and Aljamain Sterling, your face off when you went into the cage. Was that always a plan from the get go that no matter who the winner was between he and Henry, you were going to step in there and face off? Yeah, I, I, I kind of thought that, and then I did get confirmed when I was there that, hey, we're going to bring you into the cage. It makes sense. You know, I'm, I've been waiting for, uh, you know, since October to fight. No, There was no serious injuries in that fight, and uh, let's promote the next one. Let's Let's make it big. Yeah, and speaking of the next one, I know all your fans are eager to watch your return. I know in July it'll be six years since you made your debut on Dana White's Contender Series, and you're someone who loves to manifest. So when you visualize the rest of 2023 for yourself, how do you first see it playing out? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to overlook anybody. Aljamain's obviously next, and I'm I'm assuming it's August 19th in Boston. That's kind of the plan right now. So, you know, I, I envision that fight going the way it's going to go. I do think I can get the job done. I have the tools to put Aljamain's lights out the way he kind of walks forward in his awkward style. Um, you know, I'm a sniper, and I could snipe this dude. So I get the job done then. I know MSG's in November, I think. Uh, De December always has a massive card in Vegas. So... You know, we'll see. Yeah, at least one fight, ideally two this year. And would Henry be someone that you would still like to face down the line? Absolutely. I would love to smack Henry. And, uh, you know, he says he, he wants to continue to fight. Called out Marab. Brandon Moreno called him out. So I think Henry goes out there and gets, gets a win. He's right back up there. Were you impressed with his performance, though, against Aljamain? Even though, I mean, a lot of people, it's kind of mixed. Some people thought he won. Some were impressed because of the three-year layoff. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be, you know, uh, an issue. He, he knows how to compete. He's a competitor. He's always taken every, you know, fight very serious and prepared to the fullest. So I wasn't surprised um, by either of their performances. I expected them, them to go out there and be able to uh, do what they both did. I did think Henry got the job done. But I've only watched it once live. I need to rewatch it. Tim and I are going to rewatch it, kind of game planning for Aljamain. And uh, we'll see what I think after that. And I know you told the Schmo that you predict first round finish over Aljamain. You said you're hoping to uh, meet him in August. And that's what Dana White said in the post fight press conference. But Aljamain keeps saying September. So are you super confident that it'll be in August? I am pretty confident it will be in August. Uh, I don't even know if September. You know, do they even have a card in September planned right now? Is that, I, I don't know. I mean, four months, is, it seems like a reasonable amount of time, you know, to to, uh, to take it between fights. Look at, you know, um, Adesanya, he's done it a bunch. Four months is plenty of time. He, he'll be ready in August. And I know someone you're a big fan of, Conor McGregor. At the end of this month, it's the ultimate fighter, him versus Michael Chandler. When they inevitably fight, who do you think wins that? God, I, I do like Michael Chandler. Um but I'm just a I'm a diehard Connor fan. It would be hard for me to you know pick against Connor. Do I think he's taken everything as serious as fighting should be taken? Probably not. But could he still go out there and get the job done? Absolutely. In the past, you and I have discussed Islam, but this next pay per view card in that 155 pound division, Charles Oliveira versus Benil Dariush, that's going to be a great fight. So who do you think wins that? Oh yeah, that one's hard to predict. That one is so hard to predict. Both dudes. Durable, both dudes super skilled. Benil's always kind of the odd guy out and somehow gets the job done. Super skilled. Um, but Charles is so dangerous everywhere. I do not have a prediction for that fight. I was excited to watch it May 6th, but it obviously got pushed back. Um, yeah, absolute banger. Very excited for that fight. I know all the fans can't wait to watch you fight for that title. Hopefully, if it's August or maybe even September, what would you like to let them know? Yeah, it's time. It's here. You know, I feel like ever since I got in the UFC, people are like, "This guy needs to be our champion." And now, now we're, we've we've done. We've beat the guys we needed to beat. The time is coming. Uh, so 2023 will be the year the Sugar Show becomes champion, and it it'll be right around the corner faster than you know.